we used the open week to get our team better. We wanted to develop some depth and continue to develop depth in our team. That was one of the purposes. Some guys were a little banged up after three hard weeks of football, and you want to get those guys healthier as you head into the conference season. So I thought we had a good week uh, last week. We also you know, started our game prep for North Dakota State. And, Looking forward to that, and we're really, it's been 18 years since North Dakota State's been in Grand Forks, and we're excited about uh, this opportunity, and this is the reason we wanted to be in the Missouri Valley Football Conference. You know, in the spring, our first year in the conference, South Dakota State, South Dakota, we're here in Grand Forks. I think it's, um, for our student athletes, a better experience, a better experience for our fan base and our supporters. and. You know, the home field advantage. We are going to be in front of a full house and we want people on their feet, first down, second down, third down, and and we're excited and looking forward to that on on Saturday. We know that uh, North Dakota State's um, going to be a challenging opponent, as many teams in our league, and we're going to have to really focus on our preparation and and be able to play a physical football game on Saturday. Yeah, I guess what do you, what do you expect from um, crowd atmosphere? Um, maybe it's been a little bit since the building has been completely full. What, to, what, do, you, what do you think about having a sell Well, you know, in the spring, with only a third full, it was a pretty electric atmosphere with a lot of energy. I would expect it to be pretty full of energy. Um, you know, we think it's uh, difficult to play in those atmospheres, and that has helped us at home. When you, you look at our home record, you know, it's helped us, but we also got to work with our team to be able to handle that noise and communicate uh, when it's loud. And, and, but we want it electric, and we want our fans and our supporters to enjoy this atmosphere with us. And I think, you know, our fans were really uh, excited about our home opener. You know, you get out there and you see the tailgate crowd and the crowd's really excited to be inside the Alaris back to full capacity and we're looking forward to that but as I said before you know our team's going to be have to be able to handle it and uh, none of our guys have really experienced having that game in Grand Forks and it's been 18 years so they weren't very old when the last time we had them here but uh, I remember it I was part of that and uh, it's uh, an electric atmosphere and really fun to be a part of it. Um, you know, looking back at the, the last matchup with North Coast State, obviously you're going to expect the Bison to have a different quarterback, but also um, you anticipate them to, to run the football um, after the success they had uh, in the Fargo Bowl. Yeah, you know, they think you're always going to have to stop the run against them, and you got to be good on the inside, outside. They really are multiple in the type of run plays that you defend, and, you know, they're good up front. So you got to really be really, really good with your fits and understand where you need to be on defense. And, you know, you not only do you have to fit it right up front, you know, from tackle to tackle, but on the perimeter, you really got to do a good job of fitting the run. They do a nice job of, you know, different looks and challenging you across the field and running different type of run plays. And then not only do they do it with their running backs, but they add the quarterback run game to their uh, – to their attack, and that creates a lot of challenges. And you got to be really sharp, and you know, rehearse it and rehearse it, and be the best prepared that you can be. All right, we'll turn it over to uh, questions in the Zoom. Please use your raise hand function, and I'll call on you. Uh, Devin, we'll start with you. We talked about the run game a little bit, but with uh, Quincy Patterson, you know, you mentioned the quarterback run game. Kind of, how do you go about attacking a, a quarterback that dynamic? Well, I think, uh, first of all, you got to do a good job on first and second down if you ever want to, you know, get into that attack mode because you got to do a good job defending the run and, and put yourself in favorable downs. You know, he's very capable of making all the throws. He's capable of running the football. You know, we don't have a large sample of his runs because they, you know, really haven't had to go to that part of their attack yet. But, uh, you know, he can make all the throws. Uh, he can throw the deep ball. He throws a quick game. And I thought he puts good touch on the ball. So um, we're going to have to defend the run. And, and then you, 
you can't let them have explosive plays, which is a real challenge. But they, you know, they got good talent, and you got to, you know, try to limit their explosive plays and and really force them into second and long and third and long. First down is really important against uh, North Dakota State, and it's important against everybody, but I think particularly important against their team. You talked a little bit about the bye week. How beneficial is it for you guys to have had this bye week right before opening conference play? Well, I think it's beneficial because you can get your team healthier. You know, you aren't looking at preparing for a game, so if you need to limit some reps on some guys that are, you know, to recover from something, they can do that. And then, you know, just getting the younger guys much more reps again, getting them ready for the next game. And, and that's what we use the week for. And I guess we'll find out how beneficial it was to us at the end of the game on Saturday. But we tried to get our football team better. That was a big focus. We can keep improving our team each and every day and each and every week. And then lastly, I saw that uh, practice is closed to the public this week. You guys working on some tricky stuff for us? Well, I don't know about that. We just, there's a lot of distractions when this game, you know, a lot of people want to come in and out, but uh, we just think it's best if we can focus on our preparation. Hey, Coach, how's it going? I wanted to ask how you felt like your team has improved since that last spring game when you saw NDSU. Not very often you get that quick turnaround to, to get a rematch with them. Well, I think uh, a number of our guys, that was their first time playing against North Dakota State and you got to draw from that experience and you know we're always looking to improve our football team and we're hoping that we can draw off that experience and you know where we improve you know we think we're a little bit more mature we're still a a young football team on the offensive side especially and we got to draw from that experience and hopefully you know we've developed some depth in the first three weeks that can help us here in the uh, conference opener against a team that we know has got a lot of depth and can keep bringing a number of guys at you. Hey, Coach, you mentioned uh, just that drawing from that experience. Just like what, what's the biggest thing that the team took away from, from that last matchup? we got to play better. That's what we got to do. You know, you just got to play better. you got to play really physical, and you got to know your assignments and really uh, on both sides of the ball. you got to be able to play at a fast tempo and – and that's what we're focusing on. The better prepared you are, the faster and more physical you can play. And our guys got to be up for that challenge. And that's one thing we got to do if we want to have success on Saturday.